what's up? It's another McMuscles Midnight Massacre. We're doing another a, a classic horror movie remake, and this mm -hmm. is one we were slash dreading, yeah. slash anticipating. We weren't sure. Yeah, like when the trailers first came out, we were I was super hyped. Like everyone was. Like the initial uh, movie trailers that were just the shots of like the industry. There was hype. But remember, there's also that bit of controversy that like the original creator of yeah, Chucky was like kind of not great. cut out of this film because yeah. he's also developing Chucky things. I don't yeah. know. It got really complicated. Then Everyone forgot whole, like, about it. Brad Zariff kind of being like, I would have done it. And then it's like, okay, like, we, we all got super mad because he was the iconic voice. But then we're like, Mark Hamill's pretty good at voices. Time to open you up. Let's see what we're dealing with. Warning. Device overheating. Warning. Device. Hey, hey, you, you know, know the Joker? If you're like, going to get anyone and you want to revamp probably it. probably the best one. And going into later on what they did with the story makes more sense. And also... Let's be real. The last Chucky movie, I think, called to Chucky, that wasn't that very good. Wait, was that still Brad Dourif? Yes. But there was the one before that that was pretty good. The one, okay, there's the one that's yeah. in the asylum. That's the last one we watched. It was not good. And there's that one where he's running around the house with that girl in the wheelchair. That one was all right. It was I remember better. that. That was the one that was the betrayal one you saw. You saw it without me. The one with somebody else. Anyway. That's neither here nor there. Do you there. want to talk about why? No, it's fine. It's fine. You Were you off eating into... ice cream with a certain Liam feeding that... it to each other? Anyway, so um, this it's is... It's been five years. I'm still not over it. Child's but... Play, I guess 2019. Mm -hmm. And uh, even though we had seen some trailers, we were all like, I, I don't know. What's this really about? Is it going to have this? Is it going to have that? The big, big question is like, how are they going to do it? Are they going to keep this whole kind of weird, cheesy, what, 90s, 80s? It's 90s. late 80s. It's like 88. It's, okay. Thing where in the original, the whole thing is like Brad Dourif is like the psycho killer. And he's in like a shootout or a stab out. And he just <laughs> stumbles into this doll factory. And he's also knows some voodoo from his buddy. That yeah. you know, voodoo Haitian buddy. voodoo buddy. And he knows he's dying. And he does this transmogrification spell. Uh, into, give me into, the power, I beg of you. Into a and buddy? Then, was they called Into buddies? a buddy doll. Yeah. Buddy doll. And he just transfers his soul into this doll, which is so fucking 80s and ridiculous. Yeah. And you reminded me that the entire series is him trying to get a real body again in some shape Whole or form. fucking time. So, oh, like, like that's all it years. is. Yeah. That's so, all it is. He gets put in the buddy doll and gets shipped off to a family because this was all the rage, a doll that could talk in the 80s. You're like, oh my god, it's like a cabbage my patch. Buddy, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy, my <laughs> buddy. Yeah. My buddy, and that's real. God, the buddy's still different. That's real. Yeah. Uh, so in this, literally watching this movie for the first time, we still like, had no idea what yeah, we were like, going to do. They can't do that again. Like, it's no. one thing to do like a reboot or whatever, a remake. I'm like, that was only the ridiculousness that could have been Plausible. It wasn't even in the in the eighties, in the nineties, in the two thousands. So, so I guess we'll go into it. They they changed the origin of yeah. Chucky a little bit, where he's just simply a malfunctioning doll because a disgruntled employee in I think Vietnam. Fuck with his AI uh, programming. It seemed like he was like depressed or like on his last legs and just couldn't do it yeah. anymore. And, and like he fired got fired. Him. And he just said, "Fuck it, this is the last doll I have to do," and just said, "Off, off, 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 off." Like the guy that fires him was like, "Finish this doll, and then your life is destroyed. You're out of here." So obviously the guy's like, "Take off the thing where it, there's the sensor to like not now, kill people." The AI. When that part was there. I was like oh that's kind of lame but as it goes on like this buddy gets shipped to this kid same like well same character i guess andy mm -hmm. and guess what there's a child actor in this movie mm -hmm. fortunately it's i okay. think we both it's agree there's a lilu in the room lala you want to be in the review <laughs> let her do her thing um so yeah, this gets shipped to a new kid, uh, Andy, and he's actually a really good little actor. He's kind of funny, and I was like, okay, all thank the kids God. were good. All the kids. Were I good. mean, they're they're like kind of teenagers, but like, they're like tweens. Yeah, um, and I was like, you know what? This entire cast is like all pretty funny. This movie doesn't take itself too seriously. Like, yeah, there's gore, yeah, there's violence, yeah, there's killing, but everyone kind of knows. Like, well. Still, the idea of a doll killing people, even if it's like an AI malfunction, is still kind of cheesy. So everyone has the right tone. The movie had a really good tone. You, you said, 
how you felt this was like pretty funny slash entertaining in general. Oh yeah, like there was like there were some quips, some bits with the kids that were really funny, really cute, like I unexpectedly funny, where we like laughed and looked at each other, we're like. <laughs> that was wow, funny. Yeah. Like, yeah. So it was again like I don't know. I guess I avoided watching this for so long. You're like, let's watch Shots Play. I'm like, no. You're like, I'm like, I just didn't want to watch it and it just not be good because yeah, the other ones you that were most up, recently. You grew up watching Chucky a bit more than I did. I think I saw one movie. I ever. watched like all of them. Yeah. So like, and they were just bad too. And like, now Zach is here. Grab Zach, and Zach. he comes nearby. Yeah, he wants to come up here. Hold Everyone up. wants to see his new haircut. So, there is a cat in the new Child's Play movie. He's not a nice cat, and it's where uh, Chucky oh, first yeah. kind of learns. Oh, yeah, what was his name? Like, Rodney uh, Dangerfield? Rodney Dangerfield, like, like <laughs> no, it's something no, it's R. A... It's something R. Rufus Wainwright. Rufus Wainwright. <laughs> Whoa, Whitman. Um, no, it's a stupid cat's name. It doesn't name. matter. So, what happens is that Chucky learns bad lessons because his AI programming is so messed up, and he sees how people react. Or what, this is the part that I really actually like. They're watching a horror movie. What was it? It was oh. one of the Chainsaw Massacres. Yeah, was it like it a was Texas a Chainsaw Massacre, like two or three? And everyone's laughing at the hilarity of people getting their faces slashed. I mean, off. like, yeah, it's so out And there. Chucky's looking at people laughing. He's like, they like it. And I'm like, all right, this is why this movie like, he's exists. He's learning, yeah. It was. They could have only done it in this time with AI evolving to what it is, with like Alexa and Home and Siri, and all, that Siri shit. all that shit. So it's like it's a little bit more even plausible, like yeah, I you mean, know, in the in the implausibility of like an AI getting to the part where it like learns lessons and tries to kill you or whatever. But um, it's still like a lot better than serial killer transfers his soul into doll. So oh, wait, can we talk about the yeah. actual doll model too? Because so listen, Jackie has always been bad and horrible. Like the actual doll itself. I think at the start you were like, no, I don't like. It's not great. Yeah. But I think after a while you get you used to it. You warm up to it. You get used to it. Like it's so over the top. And like, what kid would actually want this? This is nightmare fuel. Like, yeah, it this is. Thing. Now what's but, weird is that a lot of scenes I was like, is this a practical doll? I couldn't really tell. I feel like the doll was practical, but the face and the features were AI. Were yeah, maybe yeah, I was thinking AI, maybe AI. Or CGI. Or whatever. Uh, but there were some scenes where Chucky like actually walks around a little bit, and you're like, that's clearly AI. But you see lots of times where he's sitting very stationary. I'm like, that has to be a doll. They're not. I think it was a mix of the two, honestly. Um, so that was a little really impressive. Now. Uh, I want to say half hour left in the movie, and like maybe one person had died, and I, I think yeah, I think maybe two at the max, and I just kind of went. I said to you like, man, they really need to step, step up. Step this. their pussies up. Yes, yeah, step their pussies up, and and. <laughs> And, and start killing some motherfuckers. Yeah. But the, the two deaths that were there, especially the first one... It was quality over quantity. It really, really it was. was. And the last, like, 20 minutes They was, were super good. The last 20 minutes was kind of a bloodbath. And and, Mark, and that's why. They saved it up for the bloodbath ending. And it was the big launch of, like, a new version like of Like, version Bernie. 2. That part Update. felt very 80s to me. Like, oh, there's the big launch of the new I, thing. But I, also felt very contemporary because the new iPhone. Or what the was new it whatever. called? The, um, Buddy 2. No, no, the store. The, was it the Something Mart? It's a try and save. Basically. Z Mart or Z Mart. Z Z Mart or whatever. Yeah, exactly. yeah, and that gave me hardcore like Evil Dead feels. Like right? yeah, yeah, like uh, Shop Square, Shop Shop S Mart. Yes, yeah. exactly. So you're right. It was a combination of, like old school horror thing with this like budget Mart place, but yeah. also like we need to get the newest version of this new technology. Like we need it. Or, like we're zombies. We're crazy. Yeah, everyone's crazy for it. It's fine. She's doing her thing. So um. I want to talk a little bit a uh, second because we're all over the place, but it's fine. We kind of are. Mark no, Hamill. We've been doing this a lot. Mark Hamill doesn't really do Chucky. He doesn't do the exact same thing. No, he's he actually puts quite his own thing on. calm. Yeah. But it's weirder that way because it's an AI, so it shouldn't really be. Exactly. Okay, because with the original Chucky, he had like two modes. Brad Dourif's yeah. char character Chucky. Mm -hmm. He was like, I'm pretending to be this doll. And like jig is up and I'm like, hey, fuck you, kid. I'm gonna come kill you and like yeah. whatever. But step your pussies up. <laughs> this wasn't that because the end. I wasn't a character. Didn't have his own character. No. To him, he was just like Andy. I thought you liked it when I killed your cat or whatever. You know what yeah. I mean? Like he was like and like when he became creepier with like, oh, I just wanted us to be friends. To the end, he just put a little like gruff in his voice and like. And, and it's the cold, calculating AI ness of it. Yeah, like, that makes it creepy. To the end. 
And yeah. that made it unique. We did another, like, uh, other, some other horror remakes uh, in this massacre this year. And, like, some of these remakes, like, don't do anything new. And this did stuff yeah. that's new, and it did stuff that's old. Like, it, it, it kind of did both. And, like, it sucks that the original, like, creator, the guy that's been doing Chucky for a while, mm -hmm. didn't get a thing of this because it's, like... This was a good remake. But you know what, bitch, they had their chances and they fucked them up because they had like a couple of the last movies that and were- And they were not good. Great. And this one was really enjoyable. Like, I don't know how well it did, critically or I don't know. numbers wise. I, I think it did okay, but I, uh, the other thing we want to talk about really briefly is that this negative is that Aubrey Plaza is whom in this movie. Whom we love. Whom we love, like many people do. Mm -hmm. um, and she basically plays Aubrey Plaza a little kind bit. Kind of, but as a like single mom. And at first you're like, eh, I still don't believe her as a single mom. Is she that old yet? Like that can yeah. like well, get it across. Was saying like I had a crazy sweet 16. So like, yeah, she had a very productive like teenage yeah. years or something. You know what I mean? So to justify that, she has, That's she's so young and has this kid who's like so, a tween. When she comes in, I'm like, oh yeah, Aubrey probably like, she's still funny. She's still charismatic. And then she kind of drops off the movie a little bit where she's not really in there, but I guess it should focus on Andy. But the man that she's with, some sleet, like night, like yeah, he's a sleaze ball, and it's like he looks way grosser and older. Like she than, could do way better. She could do way better, even if the character's kind of ditzy. It's not. She's not actually kind of ditzy. She seems yeah. to kind of be sharp tongued. Yeah. She seems to kind of be sarcastic, like Aubrey Plaza. But then it's just like it felt weird that she's just with this loser. This putz. Like, and as you go on, you're like, yeah, no, for real. Like, what a fucking putz. Like. And it was just kind of weird. It's like a weird part of the movie, I guess. Um, and aside from that, like, I didn't really have that many negatives. Not like, me either, surprisingly. Like, I, I would have preferred even a higher body count of individual kills that Chucky had, because a lot of them were like, you know, uh, I'm not going to go into it, but the final scene had a lot of people, like, getting hurt and, like, whatever for various reasons. But, like... But again, it feeds into the thing where this wasn't trying to be serial killer doll, trying to kill people to get a body. Yeah. So it was, it fed it into itself well enough. Where I'm like, well, this makes sense for this movie. And like, ultimately, it still felt like a child's play movie. It still felt like yeah. the things you come to see. It's like a killer doll basically doing things and, and uh, applying its own logic. It just did it in a different way. Why are you doing this? Are we having fun now? <laughs> so I was, I think I halfway through this movie, I said to you, I'm like, this is a really good remake. Yeah. And that's so hard yeah. to get right. Like, honestly, especially a remake of a franchise that has spanned a decade plus. I Do you know like, what no, I mean? It's like, yeah, more than a decade. That's what I mean. Like... Anything like that to take on and just put your own spin on it is always iffy, and it usually does not work out well, yeah. you know? And again, like I said, I don't know how this worked out critically or numbers-wise, but we enjoyed it, and like, this is what we're here to do, tell you not whether or not we enjoy something, so like, I mean, we, we thought it was good. We, we bought this on video on demand for like, yeah. whatever, four, five, bucks. five, five dollars, um, for that price, I'd say like like for us. I still say it's worth it. I'd say it's worth it if it when it comes out on Netflix or if it comes on Netflix, like it's absolutely worth it. Then just mm -hmm. like oh yeah, if it's free, like absolutely watch it. If you're a fan of horror, if you're like, a fan of eighties, the the remake bar is usually pretty low. Mm -hmm. But like even if it wasn't, let's say it was like higher up, like you know whatever. Like this was still like one of the better ones I've seen in a while. Like just because. I get it wasn't expecting too much, but I did see how like some people like this and some people were like, eh, whatever. But like Aubrey Plaza, the the kid actor was good. Yeah. Uh, Mark Hamill other, did something different. He did, and the other two kids too, like he They're had these too. two friends. They were pretty girl. Oh, I cannot not fucking bring this up. So the guy's the kid's name was Pug and her name was like Fawn or something. Pug and Fawn, yes. Okay. But, like, this girl, when it was time to throw down, like, she was this tiny, like, wisp of a girl, okay? Yeah, it's like a nerd. She was, like, not a nerd, but she was, like, this tiny thing, but, like, whenever there was a situation, she was, like, don't fuck around. Like, everyone just, like... She had something in her hands. Oh, was, like, my God. She was, like, whatever. the leader. She was the toughest one, and I was really, like, really happy that I saw them do that in this movie mm. for kids, for this girl to be, like, this take charge, commander-type queen situation. Where everyone's still doubting what's going yeah, like, on. Yeah, everyone just doesn't know what's going on. They're running around. They're, like, freaking out, and she's just like takes control takes a match she's a super badass and i was like 
That's awesome. There's also a couple of other characters, like there's neighbors across the street. There's like yeah. the, the oh, cop, the detective Mike, Mike. Mike. Yeah, he was good too. And his mom. Sweet. Everyone knows what type of movie they're in, and it's like a silly horror thing with like a doll involved or whatever. And I was just so pleasantly surprised throughout all of this. So. A lot of it was so shockingly better than expected expected yeah, it's like it was just entertaining it know, was general, and so. that's the point of movies right <laughs> yeah, to be entertaining especially when it has like you know at the at the at its core like a silly premise so silly so that was child's play you know a seminal horror remake of like you know a classic franchise and i think that about you know does Wraps it for it us up. for the mcmuscles midnight massacre hope you guys chapter enjoyed this de. chapter de. 2019 um, version. Maybe oh. it should be called Chapter De, the final chapter, but then we'll just do then it we'll again. Then we'll just next do it next year. <laughs> that so, would be on brand. That would be on brand. I'm sure there'll be lots okay, more bye. horror. Bye, sir. Thank you for Thank you for spending this time with us. I'm sure there'll be a lot more horror movies <laughs> made next year. Bye. I'm sure there'll be a lot more horror mo uh, horror movies and remakes made uh, next year. So and also, there's probably we'll some that we that. haven't seen. There's probably thousands from we have the seventies and eighties. And I guess we'll see you then. And thanks for sharing this time with us. Um, and hope. have a very happy Halloween. Yes, that's true. Happy Halloween, everyone. Bye. <laughs>